Hey guys, this is going to show you how to get the Facebook and YouTube destinations set up in Libsyn. Easier if you do it yourself, otherwise you have to give us credentials for your Facebook and your YouTube and validate ownership and make us admins and it's kind of complicated. So I'm just going to walk you through how to do it. On your own, here we are at the Libsyn dashboard. First thing, click on destinations here. And you will, if you are curious, you will see all the destinations that are currently added for your show. A lot of these you can ignore. Uh, they're just kind of standard. Um, they're just ready to be set up. They're not actually active. And then you have, you can see, you know, Spotify, Twitter, etc. Um, we're going to add a few new ones here. So click Add New. We'll do Facebook first. And under the social column here, Facebook on Publish. Click Add. And it will ask you to log into Facebook. Go ahead and do that. And reminder, you can only do your personal profile or a brand page, a business page that you manage. So you'll see all the pages that you're an admin for. Go ahead and click whichever one is yours. And then the most important thing to remember to grab here is um, under these options, upload as a video to timeline. That's what you want to click. Uh, so select your brand page, select the upload as video, and then go ahead and click save. I'm not going to do that as of now because I already have one set up. That's it for Facebook. And then we are going to go back to the destinations page and click add new once again. Go ahead and do Twitter. And once again, you'll have to log in with Twitter to authorize the app. And then you have the option. Uh, it's just going to send a link out when you publish a new episode. Uh, it will not send a video or anything. So you can change uh, this to a few different things. The episode permalink is usually what's going back to your website in reference to the podcast. Um, the download URL is the MP3 itself, so people can click on that right away and listen. So you can choose between one of those two. The directory link, I believe, goes back to the Libsyn directory of your show, which you probably do not want to send people. To. So just pick which one of those you want, a link to the site or a link to the actual audio itself. And then again, click save. And then we'll go back to the destinations. And the last thing is YouTube. Now you do need, uh, here's YouTube all the way at the bottom, we'll click add. You do need a channel. So if you just have a Gmail account and you go to YouTube and you're logged in, that doesn't necessarily mean you have a channel. So what you actually need to do is go to YouTube make sure that's set up. Um, let me see if I have an account that is not set up yet so I can show you what that looks like. Uh, let's see, switch accounts. Let's do this. So if you're logged into YouTube here, uh, on your icon, your personal profile icon on the top right, if you click that and go to Creator Studio, this is the back end for YouTube creators, and it will tell you right here if you do or not. Boom. So you must create a channel. So you need to check this before you set up the YouTube destination. Um, and then go ahead and create your channel. Go through all those steps. Make sure it's set up the way you want it for your podcast or for your company. Once that's done, you can come back to Libsyn here. Log in with Google. Make sure you choose the account that is uh, referencing the channel that you just set up. So you may have multiples. Make sure you're on the right Gmail account and definitely click allow and now you get to uh, a category option so YouTube categories are different than podcasts so click whichever one is most relevant to you upload audio episodes choose yes this is the important thing otherwise nothing will ever pop up on YouTube because you're not doing a video episode in Libsyn you're doing audio so make sure you upload audio episodes click yes Copy lips and keywords, click yes. Default playlist, that's up to you. If you have a playlist for your YouTube videos, you can select it there. Uh, otherwise, you can just leave that under select. And then go ahead and click save. Now, one more thing about YouTube. What's going to happen is they're going to make sure that your channel is verified. So if for some reason you set up your channel and you haven't done the verification where they send, they text you a code and you have to enter it in, it will upload your videos, but it will keep them private, and it will say that you can't publish that video until you've done the confirmation. So just be aware of that. Make sure you are confirmed and set up on your uh, YouTube page before you set up the destination. 
Now, if you're a brand new show, once all these are done, you're good to go and you can log out and you're, you're, you're finished. If your show has already been active, what you want to do is one additional step. So we're going to go back to destinations. And you will see, you should see everything that's set up here. So Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. This show does not have Facebook and YouTube set up. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to use Spotify as an example. So again, new destination that you set up, but you already have episodes released. What you want to do is next to the destination. So what you want to do this once for YouTube, click select content. And what this is going to do is automatically push your old episodes to the new destination all at once. So it will automatically open this page with every single episode highlighted. This means that every episode that's in your feed is going to be uploaded to YouTube as a video version. Um, so select as many as you want to be included. I would assume it's all of them, unless you want to keep particular episodes private. And then scroll down to the bottom and click Save. And it will send all of those over to your new destination all at once. And you will be good to go. Uh, you shouldn't have to do that for Facebook. Don't do that for Twitter. It's just for the YouTube destination if you're setting it up. And our team will handle Spotify and iHeartRadio and the rest of those when we set up your show. So you don't have to worry about those. Just the, just the three social ones, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. All right, hit us with any questions, and I hope this helps. Thank you.